So you're looking to craft a servo. Well, it's not all that tricky, but there are a few steps involved. The first thing you want to do is head into buy mode and purchase the official robotics workstation for 1,100 simoleons. Place this onto your lot and have your sim start tinkering to unlock the robotic skill. Now, to craft a servo, you're going to need to get a lot of upgrade parts and train up to level 8 of the skill. In addition to this skill level, you'll need 15 common upgrade parts, 2 plumbing upgrade parts, 5 kitchen upgrade parts, 10 electronic upgrade parts, 75 robot salvage parts, 18 mechanisms and 12 computer chips. Yes, it took my brain a while for all of that to sink into, and I'd better break it down. Thankfully, the common plumbing, kitchen, electronic, and robot salvage parts can all be purchased online using a computer. You're just going to have a very, very tired finger and mouse having to purchase 75 of these robot parts, so an advanced apology to your finger and your computer mouse. But what about these mechanisms and computer chips? These can be created from level 2 in the robotic skill and they cost 3 robot parts oh, oh. each to make. They appear in your sims inventory as an object that can't be placed in game and they also cannot be moved between sims inventories. This means that you can't make a sweatshop of workers to make these parts and that a singular sim will need to craft the 18 mechanisms and 12 computer chips required to make a servo. For this reason, it's a good idea to craft these while you train up to level 8 of the robotic skill, so that by the time you get there, you have what you need to create the servo. Also, keep in mind this means you'll need to buy an additional 90 robot parts to craft these. Yes, the clicking to buy these parts might drive you crazy, and the Sims team really need to make it so you can just type in a number when purchasing parts online. Once you've got all the parts, which in total will cost 2,685 simoleons, if my math is correct, we hope so, and level 8 of the robotic skill as well, you can get to work crafting your servo. Once made, you can bring it to life and choose its name, sex, and traits. Note that you can change a servo's name and traits at any time, and even customize your servo's color at any point in time as well. One quick thing to keep in mind, when training and crafting at the robotic station, your sim can be electrocuted, and while they're dazed, have them stop crafting. Because if they're shocked again while the dazed moodlet is active, then they might just die, and we don't want that. Alas, that's how to craft a servo in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and have an amazing day. See you later.